All right. Shalom, shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, call law, wakabad, al Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All praise and glory unto the Heavenly Father, who is true and proper name is Yahweh. In the name of the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, who is true and proper name is Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechak, Wadash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to my apostles and my elders, the great millstone, who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honors my fellow Ikeen, pushing the word, and true faith, sincerely across the four corners. And shalom warm to the sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the men and doctrine of Great Millstone. It's a brother Yadai from Jemus Atlanta Church. Um, uh, coming at you with uh, a lesson going into another um, teacher strike. Um, this one is... Uh, this article goes into um, a potential strike for um, teachers in, in Denver. Um, and this this is added to uh, a couple of strikes that I'm, I'm aware of happened um, thus far this year. Let's see. Um, Man, it's only February though. Okay, so um, so there was a strike. In, I, I remember this. There's a strike in in LA. Um, and this is I just googled this really quick. This is from uh, Governing.com. Strike in Oakland, California. It's a potential strike in Virginia, Indiana, Chicago. Um, <laughs> and um, like I said, it's only. It's only February, man. What's today's February? Uh, let's see, February tenth, uh, twenty nineteen, the year of Karagma, and um, this just goes into once again the unrighteousness of Esau Edom. Esau Edom once again being the so-called white man, uh, the nation of, of the so-called white people, uh, man, woman, and child. Um, this is just a, an, an, an unrighteous uh, society, man, because of the rulers um, who dictate what goes on in this uh, in this country in uh, this society in this kingdom all right uh, i'm gonna go right to the article this article is from cnn the cnn app um and it's from uh today it's updated today sunday february 10th 2019 the year of karagma and it's entitled uh denver is so expensive that teachers have to get creative to make ends meet uh, it says for for 14 months, teachers in Denver have been negotiating with Denver public schools for more pay. On Saturday, the Denver Classroom Teachers Association said talks have broken off and they'll walk out on Monday. OK, so it's going to be tomorrow. OK, it says, yes, it's about money. Many have told CNN, but it's also about the uncertainty of living paycheck to paycheck, because that's how, um, you know, that's how. Um, Esau Edom has actually reformulated uh, slavery, man, in which, you know, we had different uh, systems, um, you know, uh, going uh, back in time, you know, um, but this is the way that Esau Edom, once again, Esau uh, Edom being the nation of the so-called white man, um, that's that's how he's reformulated um slavery man it's it's uh it's really it's wage slavery let's really i'm looking to that let's see let's see because um the way the way that now Esau has um, pushed everybody into uh, a, a system of control is through wage slavery. All right. So this is from Wikipedia.com. It says uh, wage slavery is a term used to draw an, draw an analogy between slavery and wage labor by focusing on similarities between owning and renting a person. It is usually it is usually used to refer to a situation where a person's livelihood depends on wages or salary, especially when the dependence is total and immediate. Okay, and we're going to go into uh, going further into this article. Um, there's there's one woman who, um, you know, like I, like the article stated uh, in the first paragraph, that um that the teachers, a lot of the teachers in um, 
Denver are planning to go on strike tomorrow. There's one woman who said she wants to strike. It's her first year of teaching and she wants to strike, but because of her bills and her, her uh, financial obligations, she's not going to be able to. And because why? Because she's a wage slave. All right. Because, who, you know, all of us who have these nine to five jobs, whether you make, you know, eight, nine dollars an hour or you're on salary, like, you you know, if you can't um, gather enough um, resources and have the ability to, in which you don't need to go back to that job to make ends meet, you're still a wage slave. All right. The term wage slavery has been used to, to criticize exploitation of labor and social strat stratification with the former seen primarily as uh, unequal bargaining power between labor and capital, particularly when workers are paid uh, comparatively low wages, uh, for example, in sweatshops, and the latter as a lack of workers, workers self-management, fulfilling job choices and leisure in an economy. So even uh, your time for leisure or leisurely activities in which you can actually just kind of rest and recharge yourself. OK. Um, OK, yeah, um, let me re just reread this paragraph. Yes, it's all. It, yes, it's about money. Many have told CNN, but it's also about the uncertainty of living paycheck to paycheck. It's about the necessity of taking on a second or third job. It's about the un, uh, untainability of carrying on this way much longer. All right. Because it gets to a point, man, you, you burn out, man. You can't, <laughs> you know, your, your whole point of going, uh, you know, having a primary uh, job is to, you know, you be able to, uh, you know, have a, you know, if you can have a certain level of self-fulfillment, you know, if possible, you know. But to, um, to, you know, really the point of working is so you can meet your financial ob uh, obligations, but it's more than just meeting your financial obligations. You want to actually get to a point that you can actually get ahead, you know, um, and, and, and uh, build, build, you know, um, a level of independence for yourself, but also prepare, uh, you know, a, a path of um, uh, least resistance and, you know, less financial and resourceful um difficulty for the next generation man your next generation being your children okay um here are some ex here are some of their stories she's one car breakdown away from living in a camper van <laughs> you saw feeling it man katie uh mcowen has had to make some tough decisions when it comes to money at the end of this month she's giving up her one bedroom apartment and will move into a friend's basement the move sacrifices some of her independence, but it affords her some wiggle room with her finances. The sixth grade math teacher at Place Bridge Academy in Denver says she makes about $50,000 per, $50, per year. After paying $1,050 in rent, plus student loan payments, bills, and other expenses, there's not much left over. She's also She also nannies during the summers to supplement income. Quote, I'm, I, I really am living paycheck to paycheck right now. All right. And that's and that's uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7, uh, 30 and 7, man. All right. The curses that were placed upon uh, the nation of Israel, the nation of Israel consisting of so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans and the um, uh, confusion of, of faith uh, spread abroad. The curses that was put on us for uh, for uh, uh, a dedicated uh, a period in time is not going on on uh, you heathens, man, starting primarily with uh, you uh, so-called white people, man, you Edomites. OK. Um, Quote, I really am living paycheck to paycheck right now, Mick Owens said. If my car broke down or anything, I would be really hurting. <laughs> All right. It's, uh, Mick Owen is lucky that she doesn't have to make car payments. She dropped a 2000 Honda, 2000 Honda Accord, which just hit 310,000 miles. She's lucky that she got that, man, you know. It works now, but she worries about the future. Quote, I know if something really, really happens... I will be in big, big trouble, she said. And good, man. Good for you, Edomites. Because here it is um, through systematic oppression. Now, of course, the, uh, the Mosai Yahweh by Shem Yahweh uh, Shah allowed um, the elites of Esau Eden, the so called white man, to, to uh, implement those systems on, on our people and on the masses. But good, man. Good that uh, your people set up a snare to really, in essence, trap our people. All right. In, the, in this net and now y'all are getting caught up in it man good for you man <laughs> why because she wouldn't be able to go to work 
The 35 year old is originally from West Virginia, the state that launched a teacher strike and inspired similar movements across the United States last year. Her mother and sisters who also live in Denver have talked about moving back east or somewhere uh, near there to find a more affordable life. All right, because um, that's that's the uh, the the result of uh, Esau Edom sucking up all the resources, man, all the resources. And um, uh, uh, once again, um, implementing a, a system of wage slavery. All right. My option was to either move there or I've been contemplating moving into a camper van, she said with a laugh. I knew something was going to have to change. It was either to move completely out of Denver or bunk with my friend. He drives Lyft after school and has multiple roommates. Sean Bowers uh, shares a place with three people. And this guy might be a Jake, man. You know, you never know. Um, Sean Bowers shares a, a place with three people. They split the $2,500 a month rent. He lives in the smallest room and pays $600. Change is coming, though. Two of Bowers' roommates are dating and they'll be moving out in May. That fact of life has Bowers trying to figure out what he'll do. Splitting that much rent between two people is more than he can afford. We're just at that time of our life and it's getting harder and harder to find roommates, said the high school uh, physical education teacher. All my friends are either married and don't want to live with another random person or I'm looking out for random people on Craigslist. If he opts to get a new place, he will have to pay yet another security deposit at first month's rent. Uh, and that's that's part of the difficulty that our people have had to face, man, having to come up with security deposits. Here it is. You have a job in which you can't even afford. To, you, you live in paycheck to paycheck to afford just to, to sustain yourself. All right. And um, and. Um, and now you have to come up with, you know, if you have to move, you have to come up with a security deposit and, you know, first month's rent, some situations, first and last month's rent. How, how in the world are, are the majority of people going to be able to do that, man? You know, quote, I've had to take out loans, loans before just for just a security deposit in the first month's rent because I don't have that extra $800 to $1,200 to throw down, the 30-year-old said. And, and and that's a part of our struggle as well, man. All right. Even going into uh, just saying us mean uh, the men, of, the hopeful men of the Lord, man. All right. And that's why. Um, Elder Apostle Tahar and uh, primarily has been uh, on on brothers to you know what I'm saying take care of your business, man. All right, actually work to to understand uh, how much money you have coming in. Work to understand uh, uh, how real how real money works, you know, and understand what's going on in these markets because everything that you buy and sell, okay, it's just a market, man. So that's why, uh, like I said, Elder Apostle Tahar even he did the video um, of him buying silver. You know what I'm saying? Just as a as a reserve, man. You know what I'm saying? And and going into what real money is, because if we can understand more and more what, what real money is, all right, we'll be able to navigate this system uh, uh more efficiently. Okay. Um Bowers base salary is forty two thousand dollars, but he does a lot outside of daytime hours to make extra money. He writes curriculum over the summer, runs a ninth grade academy, and he is the head track and field coach at North High School in Denver. School and coaching duties mean that he's in school from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the winter and spring. After all that, Bauer, Bowers rolls into his other job as a Lyft driver. <laughs> and how many Jake, you know, do that, man? Drive Uber and Lyft, you know, Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, Postmates, you know what I'm saying? Just to make ends meet, okay? Uh, he typically drives five to ten hours a week with the goal of making an extra hundred dollars, he said. When you are teaching the lesson, when you are with the kids, and when you see the change, you forget all about the financials, Bauer said. Yet he wishes he had a little time to go home, rest, relax, and work on other skills as a person, he said. We're not asking for a million dollars, Bauer said. We're asking for an extra 200 to $300 per paycheck so that I can save up so that I can buy a house and live in my community and not jump house, house from house. Okay, and once again, let's go back to wage slavery. It says the term wage slavery has been used to criticize exploitation of labor and social stratification, with the former seen primarily as unequal bargaining power between labor and capital. Um, this is the point I wanted to hit. Fulfilling job choices and leisure in an economy. Because when you're living paycheck to paycheck, all right, you don't have time to... Uh, 
to have you know, a significant amount of leisurely activity. Okay. Um, and this is the, I just want to get to this last account for the sake of time. Uh, it says she's thinking of taking us on a second job as a server. Sophia, Sophia Luing is a first year teacher who's had to get creative with keeping down her expenses. Little projects at home, like cleaning supplies, will go to the dollar store instead of Target or even Walmart. The third grade math teacher from Ashley Elementary School said, uh, school told CNN. Wing is 26 and live with, lives with her sister and her sister's boyfriend in Westminster, just outside Denver. The three share a two-bedroom apartment that's 700 square feet, and that's small. <laughs> All right. You got three grown human beings. Uh, three uh, grown people, okay, and sharing a, a 700 square foot space. That's small, man. All right. Luing does not plan to strike Monday because she cannot afford to. I really, really want to because I do support the mission, but I literally financially cannot afford to, Luing said. For me to lose out on $200 of pay a day, it impacts, it does impact my bills for the month. Uh, she's not a part of the union. The Denver Classroom Teachers Association, she currently can't afford a $70, $70 monthly fee, especially as she's in only her first year teaching, she said. While doing her taxes, Wing discovered that her sister makes slightly more money by working full time as a server. Wing said she made just under $43,000 as a teacher. So her sister works as a server is making more for uh, uh, than her as a teacher. <laughs> All right. I've worked in the service industry before. I know how much money I could make being a server, she said. Seeing that my sister made more than me as a server with no college degree and I'm here working full time, it's a big shocker. <laughs> Wing's sister works flexible hours, gets free health care and a 401k benefit offered through her employer. If I can get benefits elsewhere and have a more flexible schedule, why wouldn't I do that? She uh she said. And that's, and that's you know, going just getting to you know finishing the point is like here it is, uh Esau Edom, you know, pushes the narrative of like, you know, go to school, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna make you know significantly significantly more money by going to school and you know, following this path, this course. And here it is, this woman this woman's sister doesn't have a college uh, education or degree has a, a better perks and better benefits at her job, has a better schedule, all right, and didn't even go to college, man, all right, that just goes to show you that, man, you saw, you saw your system is through, man, people are seeing through uh, the cracks in your system, man, all right, well, I'm going to get, of course, get into the, uh, the precepts, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon out of the Apocrypha, chapter 2, verse 10, this is going to the mindset of Esau, Enum. It says, let us oppress the poor, righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. Because Esau don't give a damn about these people out here, man. All right. That's why the scriptures say that when the righteous bear rule, the people uh, rejoice. All right. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Because, you know, when when the 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 true leaders of the earth, the, the, the Israelites, the men of the nation of Israel, all right, uh, come into power and to rulership, we're going to do it uh, in, in righteousness, man. And we're going to do it uh, uh, um, in the spirit, in the Holy Spirit, and in, in the understanding that's given to us um, by the most, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, in which we're going we're gonna to actually maximize everything, everything, and every movement on earth, man. All right, we're, we're going to actually have a certain uh, 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 care for not just the earth and the animals and things that are cr the creations of the earth. We're going to have a certain care for the people because we're going to want the people to uh, uh, move in righteousness as well. All right. And not uh, partake in wickedness. OK. Um, I'm going to come down. Yeah, I'm going to jump down to verse 13. He professes to have the knowledge of the most high and he call him himself the child of the Lord. All right. Because that's what Esau, Esau, you know, Esau, even America is. Uh, deemed a country that believes in and moves in the spirit of the Bible. All right. And, uh, you know, even going into uh, Amal Am Amalek, the nation of Amalek, the so-called Jews who now inhabit the land of uh, the land of Israel. All right. And, and implemented the state of Israel. They they say they're the chosen people, man. All right. He was made to approve our thoughts. So 
so-called white man was made to, uh, uh, as a, a correction, all right, for, for us as a nation to understand that even though they say they have the, the, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the, of the book, and they claim to be the, 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 uh, the, the chosen people and chosen lineage of the Heavenly Father, they're not. They were just created to reprove our thoughts and actually be a whipping stick, so to speak. All right. Um, uh, verse 15. He is grievous unto us even to behold, for his life is not like other men's. His ways are another fashion because the mo these Edomites don't um, adhere to the, the wisdom of the Holy Scriptures, man, because they're not the people, man. Or if they did, it would, teachers around the country wouldn't be having to go on strikes because they would be sufficiently taken care of. If you if you want to have a system in which you have the, your your children, all right, the children, the mass, the children of the masses going to these places to be educated, don't, why wouldn't it make sense for the teachers who are doing the edu doing the uh, the teaching and educating, all right, to that they can have a life that they can sustain themselves? That just goes to show you that uh, the, these people are in balance and they're unrighteous, man. All right, and I'm, I'm gonna finish off here. Um, Wisdom of Solomon two and seventeen. Uh, actually, I'm going to read these two verses. All right. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2, verse 17. Let us see if his words be true and let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. All right. Because we're going to see, you know, we have the, the, uh, the hopeful elect, the uh, Lord one, the men of the Lord going out week in and week out, uh, uh, speaking our doctrine are given to us by the Holy Spirit through the, El the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And then you have obviously the the people uh, on the left hand side, Esau, Edom, who um, are uh, uh, pushing their doctrine and their mentality. Man, we're gonna see who has the truth. Man, all right. Verse eighteen. I'm gonna finish here. For if the just man be the son of the Most High, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of, from the hand of his of his enemies. All right. So once again, if we are those men, and Lord willing, we are. We don't have to worry about falling to the snares and traps of the devil, man. All right. Because if we uh, stand up in righteousness and in boldness in the in the truth, in the spirit, in the Holy Spirit, and we uh, push the true and proper doctrine. All right. And we actually believe and have faith in um, the covenants and the promises given to us by our forefathers for doing this work. We don't have to worry about uh, 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 being caught up in the snares and, and, the, and the wickedness of the devil, man. All right. Because how about Shimi, how shy? Through his only begotten son, the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shad, the one who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, is going to come and save us, man. All right. He's going to save us for our faithfulness, for our works. All right. For, for believing in the Messiah, believing in the words and the covenants. All right. And, and showing our people their transgressions and also um, showing the wicked. All right. Uh, uh, showing the wicked and prophesying his uh, showing the wicked his evils. And prophesying his downfall, man. Okay, so I'm ended up there. Lord willing, you edify. Once again, call her law, walk about Al Yahweh by Shimmy Howard Shai. All praise and glory unto the Heavenly Father, whose true and proper name is Yahweh. In the name of the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, whose true and proper name is Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and In the name of the Holy Spirit, double honors to my apostles and my elders of Great Millstone, who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honors to my fellow I can push in the word and true faith and city across the four corners. Until next time, Shalom.